Welcome back to the shop, friends. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jim, and this is the Lasting Build channel, and we're currently working on building a treadle lathe. Last night, I was out here cutting some mortise, uh, mortises on the uh, uprights, and I quickly realized that maybe it wasn't so clear as to how I transferred the marks from one upright to the next, so today I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, these are the two mortise joints that I completed last night. This is actually the number one upright, and we started by actually cutting the number three upright. So today I'm gonna to show you how I transfer the marks from the number three upright to the number one upright. So this is the number three upright. This is the first one that we cut the two mortise joints in that house the two ways, the two horizontal pieces that connect each of the three uprights together. So in order to transfer the marks from this board to the number one upright, I wanted to assure that the joints were exactly the same distance from the reference edge on each board. These two uprights are slightly uh, uh, different in um, width. I wasn't too concerned about the width of the boards. All I was concerned about is assuring that the joints were the same distance from the front and the same distance from one another in the middle. So what I did, was I took my combination square and I lined it up with each mark on the joint. And I tightened that down and then I can take this over to my other upright and mark each line. So here we are back on the number one upright and I've secured my combination square with the mark that we just uh, took on the number three upright and then what I did was I come along on the reference edge of the board and then I marked that line. I did the same thing for each of the other edges of the mortise and I marked those lines as well. So I would have done the same thing here for this mark and I would have done the same thing here for this mark and also the same thing here for this mark. By doing this, this assures that the mortise position is the same on the number three and the number one upright, therefore the waves will be in the same position on the two boards. So what we have here is we have the number one upright, the number two upright, and the number three upright. The waves will um, connect into the mortises on each end of the frame, and then this will be the number two upright, which the, the waves actually will um, join with it using the housing joints. The next step in the process will be to cut the tenons on the bottom of each of the uprights and then those will house into a mortise on the feet um, and um, will make a really, really strong foundation for the lathe. Well today was more or less just a status update and a little tutorial on how I transferred those marks. Sometimes the things I do I think is fairly obvious, but then again, we have a lot of new woodworkers on the channel who uh, maybe hasn't done this before. We picked up a lot of new subscribers in the last few weeks, and that's really awesome. Um, I'm really happy to, to have everybody on board to follow the projects. I think this is a really cool project that you're not gonna find on many other channels. Um, Mr. Chickadee did a really awesome treadle lathe a few years ago but there's not a whole lot of other tutorials out there on how to build this. So anyhow, I hope you'll continue to follow along on the project. If you have any suggestions along the way, be sure to let me know. Be sure to leave a comment. I read every single one of them and I try to respond as well. If you know someone who would like the project, be sure to share it with them. Uh, it helps to build the channel. Well, that's all for today, friends. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.